America's debt ceiling is about as alarming as it is confusing. And honestly, it's a pretty simple concept. So, with Janet Yellen saying America's gonna be running out of money just in time for an extra spooky Halloween, ha ha ha. I thought I'd take a second to briefly explain what's going on. Now, if America's a household, the debt ceiling is our credit card. On August 1st, America hit her self-imposed debt ceiling, leading to the political equivalent of taking some scissors to our national credit cards. Look everyone, we're gonna be fiscally responsible and stop borrowing any money. You're gonna stop spending money too, right? Wait, what? No, I wasn't planning on doing that. Okay, so how are you gonna buy food and rent? Well, I have a few tax dollars left rattling around in the tank, and my next payday is six months away in April. Oy, this cash is gonna last until October at the latest. Yeah, and don't you owe a whole bunch of debt that you have to pay interest on right now? Hey man, I don't think you get it. Cutting up your credit cards? Well, that's a symbolic gesture to show independence. I saw it on a TV show. Just join me in the spirit of things. Okay, but not to be that guy, how are you going to keep funding all those programs that you've committed money to? Do you have any tape? I've made a huge mistake. Now the big disconnect that I'm trying to highlight here is the disconnect between raising the debt ceiling and decreasing spending. It's saying I'm not going to buy new things versus I'm not going to pay for the things I bought. Sure, when America starts bouncing checks next month, we might give a side eye to a $3.5 trillion infrastructure plan, but that doesn't solve any of the potential spending problems conservatives have identified. It's more the political equivalent of someone with a bunch of debt and expenses just walking away from his commitments. I don't pay what I owe, so do I really owe it? Now this is where we exit the realm of economics and enter a much darker realm that I hate talking about. Politics. Ugh. Reality TV for people who incorrectly think they're smarter than you. Now there's no debate about whether the debt ceiling should be raised so America can keep paying people. Instead, it all comes down to optics. Mitch McConnell recently said, the debt ceiling needs to be raised. The issue is who should do it. And under these uniquely unprecedented circumstances, it's their obligation to do it. And they have the votes to do it. And they will do it. Phew, for a second there, I thought this was going to descend into something intellectual. Now it's more a debate over who takes out the trash. Everyone knows it needs to get done, and you know, we could both work together to raise the debt ceiling, or Republicans could filibuster it in the Senate and force the use of budget reconciliation. Guess which one we're heading towards right now. Now unfortunately for our ability to just move on from this quickly approaching catastrophe, Democrats don't seem to be over enthusiastic about raising this debt ceiling on their own party line vote either. Now they give two reasons. First, paying for things Congress has already committed to paying for, like salaries, fixed costs, and ongoing programs, should not be transformed into a partisan issue. And that ship has sailed. I suspect more accurately, this comes down to public relations. Nobody wants to be the guy to say to everyone, we need to pay these bills and we're all out of money. Better whip out the old credit card to get this done. Now it would be great for Democrats if they could point to a bipartisan deal and say, look, we're all doing it as a team. Let's keep America solvent. Now to support this belief, Democrats have several times refused to include raising the debt ceiling in their budget reconciliation efforts. Republicans on the other hand would benefit greatly from emphasizing the debt America is currently incurring in paying our bills, and symbolically showing their opposition to it. Now this is best emphasized by a different Mitch McConnell quote. I thought my colleagues were thrilled to present another reckless taxing and spending spree to the American people. Shouldn't Democrats be proud to own all the debt it requires? 
So now we find ourselves with grandstanding on both sides to see which party can get the best sound bites for their political ads, with a catastrophe quickly swooping in. Unfortunately, while this is all happening, in the background the treasury has pulled out the duct tape and is desperately trying to keep this boat above water. The government will likely run out of cash and could begin to miss payments on its obligations sometime between mid-October and mid-November. Now to emphasize the urgency of this entire thing, that's about a month away from now. To keep this government moving with the needle getting awfully close to that E, Janet Yellen is doing everything short of getting at and pushing the thing forward herself. Now the funding strategy that has mostly been used to keep the government going is a whole lot of siphoning. Civil Services Retirement and Disability Fund? Postal Service Retiree Health Benefits Fund? And I can't forget the Government Securities Investment Fund of the Federal Employees Retirement System Thrift Savings Plan. Whew, that's a mouthful. Basically, if you work for the federal government, don't count on retiring until we get this whole debt ceiling thing figured out. Latest is, Biden wants to use majority control of Congress to get a debt ceiling general vote as soon as possible. The question now is, will Republicans filibuster the vote and force Democrats to use budget reconciliation to keep the government solvent? Now, as long as the government stays solvent, I don't really care who comes out on top. I'm just not charismatic enough to succeed right now in a failed state, so let's get this done. Thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I'd like to thank my patrons over here for helping me put out my videos. And if you want to support independent nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. If you want a more technical understanding of the debt limit, specifically bond issuances and such, there's a link right here. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.